in the name of my ancestors, in the name of our ancestors, both great and small, peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the host or the gatekeeper of this program known here on social media. Wherever you may find me, I am known as the Mate, Mate, Mate. <laughs> angel, 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 snup, nup seven. I am your soul brother and hopefully your friend. Soul brother number one, that is. And hopefully your friend, Talik Even Raw. Welcome to this special edition. These few words dedicated to what we know of as Black History Month. I am so happy that I am not uh, or no longer have this pro-blackity black, blackity black, pan-African, comedic black, whatever, a African. I'm so happy that I no longer have a certain mindset so that I can give whether I agree or disagree with certain persons actions or behaviors, I can appreciate all those who made black history as their names go down in history. <laughs> and maybe one day I can join these persons who make and who have made black history possible, both known and unknown. What is black history? Black history. I would assume that black history is the history of a people labeled or identified as black. Now, some include African history into black history. Black history is not African history. In order for black history to be African history, there has to be a contribution from the black people that somehow connects to African history of which this is not the case. And those who created or who began what we call Black History Month, I assume that when they spoke of black history, it was the history of those who were once called Negro born in America, who are the descendants from those who came off the American slave plantation. That's what I assume. But when we talk about black history, I think black history, it is that of a people, the history of a people, history of the black people. Whatever a people have done, not an individual. Individual, the individual may be black and he or she is part of black history, but that is individual history, not black history. For example, Michael Jackson as an individual sold more records than any other recording artist, over 40 million records sold of one album, which was Thriller. It had nothing to do with black people. It just so happened he's a black man, but 
that's an individual uh, accomplishment. has nothing really to do with black people. Some of us bought his record and in fact, many persons of many races and ages bought Thriller. That was an individual history. Part of black history, simply because he's black or called black label, identified as an African-American or black man. But that is not the history of a people. That's the history of an individual. Now, when we talk about black history, it encompasses things like soul food, because this people, what many of us have in common, regardless to what we do now, because I'm not a slave no more. I don't eat, I don't eat that soul food. I'm not a slave. But we have soul food in common as a people, many of us. Not everybody. It's according to what your experience is. But this people is known for soul food, gospel, and soul music as a people. In our communities among us, we used to play what we call the dozens. That's what we do. This is not an individual thing. This is something that you will find uh, in our communities. The Soul Train line, you will see that in our communities. Um, we, we used to have something called swag. It was an individual thing. Our own individual creativity. Each, usually it's the brothers that have the swag. And you use your swag to attract the sisters. It's, it's a certain way that you walk. A certain way that you carry yourself. We got the swag. So that's us as a people. Now, these new age blackity black type folks, they have no respect for black history. They take you to Kemen, they take you to places in Africa. They really don't concentrate and don't care about the African American, the ones called Negro. Uh, they make mockery of black history, but yet they would not exist and they benefit from what we call black history. They done nothing. I'm glad they, they don't recognize black history because they've done nothing to con uh, contribute to that history. They've done nothing. Now they teach history in their scholarship, they get the information, but they talk about Africa. Never live in Africa, don't know a damn thing about Africa. And have no respect for Carter G. Woodson, may he rest in peace, and us, we who are the black people. We are not African history, we are black history. I'm so happy that they don't recognize black history and have no respect for black history because they have made no contribution except run their damn mouth. I'm so happy they've done no work, but they benefit from black history. They benefit and they, regardless if they want to or not, they are the negative portion of black history. They are the ones who are really filled with this self-hatred that they call others because they think something they lost is better than something they have now and only know. They were dashikis and onks and put on these costumes but when you hear them talk, they are just like any other once called Negro in this country. Getting on an airplane, visiting Africa, don't make you some kind of African. You still who you are. You was born here. The so-called Negro have been here going on 500 years. 
You're not going to change that because you went to Africa. You're not going to change that because you got a DNA test talking about you're an Igbo or a Somali or whatever. These unspecified people that you claim you are. You're going to act like an American Negro and you know what that is till the day you die. So I would rather build on and understand who I am. It's just like your parents. You were born into a family. You can't help that you was born poor and your parents were illiterate sharecroppers. That has nothing. We have no control over that. We were born here in America. We were not born in Africa. Suffice to say, you have many African people, people from that continent, willing to die to come where you're at. We don't see these people willing to die to go anywhere in Africa. It's such hypocrisy. It's, it's really, it's, it's hypocrisy. And then these, their only function is to teach history. So they would tell you about Kemet. They would tell you about parts of Africa, ancient Ethiopia, and all these different things. And they would tell you a little bit of black history. Those people, they, they, they're, they're dead. So they can't say yes or no, but they use them to paint a certain narrative. But they teach history, but they do not show us, and they are too incompetent to show us how to make history, to give us power, to give us influence. You can't have history unless you make it. So they're no part. I'm glad they don't talk about black history and they keep talking about Kemet and they keep talking, which they can't show no contribution to Kemet or Africa at all. And I'm glad with their self-hating ass, they don't make any comments about a history of a people so strong that they survived over 300 years, not three weeks, not three months, survived 300 years of physical slavery, treated like domesticated cow and chicken. I'm happy to be proud to come from that family who's so strong. And now, have uh, accomplished so much in a hostile environment. So can you imagine what we as a black people, whenever we do become a people, can you imagine what we can accomplish when we get all this negativity and all this hostility and all these uh, obstacles out of our way? Oh man, Kemet is dead. And all these other things is foreign to us. And we can be related to these two certain persons, but I got to be me. Your ancestors want you to be greater and more than what they was. It's called advancement. These people want you to go back in time that don't exist no more. Soul power wants us to accept our own and be ourselves and rise up and guide humanity, not black people, guide humanity to the place where the Bible and Quran speaks, heaven.